Hi, my name is Michael Tierney. I'm from Penn State Wilkes-Barre, uh, located in Lake Lehman, Pennsylvania. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, which will um, go over a little bit about my professional career, my educational career, and my personal life. Uh, for the past four years, I've worked for the company Penske. Uh, some of you may have heard of it. Uh, Penske is the largest uh, truck rental and truck leasing company in the United States. I've worked for their corporate location here in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, in their accounts receivables department. Uh, my job duties consisted of collections, resolutions, uh, customers' disputes, uh, more or less on the late stage side of things. I've had a great experience uh, and uh, a lot of experience rather um, communicating in all levels of the organization. I've communicated from, for example, your uh, representative working at your local Penske dealer uh, at the counter uh, all the way up until the upper management here at corporate. Um, and it, it was, uh, it's been quite the experience. Uh, I've also had uh, the opportunity to acquire two certifications uh, while working for Penske. One being the Lean Six Sigma certification, uh, which taught me a lot about adding value to my organization's processes. Um, I've also been certified uh, with a HIPAA certification. Uh, we do deal with uh, uh, some sensitive material on the healthcare side of things. So um, to be in compliance, uh, we had to have a HIPAA certification, uh, which was mandatory. So that was a um, just gravy uh, on top. Uh, in 2009, I've also had the opportunity to work for, um, actually I was appointed as the program director of a company called Mass Productions. Uh, Mass Productions uh, was a company that put on MMA or mixed martial arts uh, fight promotions. I was in charge of orchestrating the events, so as a result, I got to practice a great deal of communications with all parties involved, uh, such as fighters, fans, vendors, ring girls, security, and all other types of staff, uh, and the people that were all involved with making the event happen. Uh, as for my educational career, I am an adult student. I am returning uh, to Penn State at the age of 27 years old. Uh, my first uh, roundabout going out at college uh, wasn't too focused, uh, to say the least. And uh, to, say, uh, to say a little bit more on it, um, I basically came to, to uh, college to play baseball. And um, that's where my focus really lied. So my academics and my studies kind of uh, slipped through the cracks or, or took the back seat uh, to my college career. Uh, nonetheless, I've, I did learn uh, throughout my um, professional career that uh, it is important to have a degree and to have that learning ex experience uh, and not just so much the college experience uh, that may, I, may have, uh, I may have had. But um, I do learn a lot today uh, as an adult student and I'm very grateful for that. Um, my personal life, uh, to better understand who I really am, uh, I, do have, I do have a deep-rooted love for the game of baseball. Uh, I both uh, coach and train youth baseball today uh, at the Next Level School in Kingston, Pennsylvania. I also volunteer as a coach uh, for the Swearsville Legion Baseball Developmental Program. Uh, what's probably most interesting about me is I am a recovering alcoholic. Uh, I have been sober in recovery for about four years uh, through the grace of God and working a 12-step program. Um, I am very active in my community as I get to speak with both high school and college students, um, along with different institutions like rehab centers and, and jails and prisons uh, about alcohol and drug addiction. Um, I've also had uh, a great opportunity with uh, getting involved with charity events uh, throughout the Wyoming Valley, which is, which is always great to give back. Um, I have noticed that a uh, learning experience uh, throughout, throughout my life is that um, it's not about you know, I did have a little hiatus when I worked for Penske, and this was a mistake that I made in my professional career that I'd like to add. Uh, I went to work to, uh, with a friend's company uh, that was in business for about 10 years, and it was a debt consolidation company. Um, the industry was in demand for it um, due to the fact that we were having uh, a lot of financial problems and a lot of people were in a great amount of debt. 
and they were trying to consolidate that debt. Uh, nonetheless, I did jump ship to go to this job because it was a little bit more money, uh, which was always attractive. Um, but I didn't realize the things that I was throwing away with uh, the job that I, I had with Penske. Um, I had job security. I had uh, a great amount of job satisfaction uh, that I also overlooked. So um, that was a lesson that I've learned in the professional career is that job satisfaction definitely ranks high uh, when making decisions on, on, um, on where to work. And, and if your satisfa satisfaction has a lot to do with with money, well, then it could get a bit complicated uh, because money isn't everything. And, and you got to realize is that you got to love what you do uh, to do it well. So uh, that's that was a great learning experience for me uh, throughout all these experiences, especially professional and educational, uh, along with my personal experience. I've learned that um, I want to be focused on uh, what it is that I love to do. And as I was just speaking about before, uh, what I'd like to carry out in my my goal or my path uh, professionally and what I'd like my career to be um, guided towards is I'd love to be an owner and operator of an elite sports training facility. I currently work in one now. Uh, I do know what it takes uh, to run a successful one. And, um, and I, I look forward to one day uh, owning my uh, state-of-the-art uh, facility. So uh, wish me luck. Uh, I, I do appreciate you taking the time uh, and getting to know me, and I do look forward to uh, taking a look at your videos and um, communicating with everyone uh, throughout the remainder of the class. So I hope everyone has a great day and a great week, and we will see you soon. Thank you.